Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I was actually reading an article and I will put the full article down in the description box below because it was very interesting. And uh, the title of this article is 10 Reasons Why Relationships Are So Difficult to Maintain According to the Experts. And this uh, this article is by BB Ditz. I think I pronounced that right. But of course, I will put her name down in the description box below so you guys can see. Um, you know what? I did not talk about all 10 of them, but I do want to talk about some of them, some of them, and then some of my own for a total of seven. Again, the full article is going to be in the description box below. So let's go ahead. The very first one on why relationships are so difficult. Of course, I took some notes, which is what I'm doing. Um, the first one is, it's hard to be intimate for most people. So this is a quote from life coach Kelly Rogers. Um, states that romantic relationships can be difficult to maintain because they possess more intimacy than any other relationship. The amount of closeness, emotional, physical, spiritual, and even mental that is in a relationship can be overwhelming to handle at times, which is also true. So if you go slow and let yourself really fall in love no matter what happens you can fight off the sense of keeping yourself locked up tight which is absolutely true so um, it doesn't have to be hard to be intimate in your relationship but you have to be willing to let down your guard and let somebody in and that's absolutely true it's going to be scary to do that because a lot of people take your information and they might try to use it against you later on and if you are one of those people that do that stop doing that that is not sexy it definitely does not make your mate feel safe with you and they will also start to try they will not try they will also start to lie to you about certain things because they can't talk to you about them because you yes you will throw it up in their face later on so why would I tell you only to hear about it later on, especially when I'm letting down my guard, especially when I'm in a vulnerable state? You will no longer get that access to me. So don't throw up the sensitive information in your partner's face, especially when you pissed off next time and or you want to get a reaction out of them. You want to hurt their feelings on purpose. And then you bring it up the old sensitive stuff. That is a crusher. And you will see the, a shift in your... If, no. you If you want to see a shift in your relationship for the worst, then do stuff like this. I'm telling you. Do stuff like this if you want to see the worst in your relationship. Your relationship will not thrive. It will not continue on to be healthy, which is what I preach here. Healthy romantic relationships. All right, I'm going to move on because I, I got some more stuff I can say. <laughs> the second thing is expectations. No brainer. Most of us have the expectations that relationships are supposed to play out a certain way. You're supposed to behave a certain way. And a lot of it has to do with our familiar relationships and how we were brought up, what we actually seen. And then when you get into a good relationship or a bad relationship you don't necessarily recognize it as either while you're in it until you get out of it uh, at least most of us so our expectations are usually really really high versus letting things just play out and you and your mate experiencing your relationship and not comparing it to somebody else's, not comparing it to social media, not comparing it to what this person over here does versus what your boo, do, do, boo does or versus what you do. We put really high expectations and not that they're high or low, actually. It's just the expectation that they're supposed to be a certain way when you're in a relationship. That's not true. The way that I handle things in my relationship might be completely different from the way that you handle things in your relationship. And that's okay. That's okay. I might not be one of the people that always want to go out or always, you know, take pictures and post them on social media of me and my boo. But my friend over there might do all of that stuff. And that's okay. 
because that's okay for what she wants to do in her relationship. So stop all of the comparison. Moving on, number three. Oh, bring up unheralded issues, which again, it's not necessarily, no, I can't say it's not necessarily. It's not the best thing to do, especially if you're doing it in a manner that is not healthy, especially if you're doing it in a manner like I spoke about earlier, where you're either doing it for tit for tat or, you know, I want to get a reaction out of you. I want to see what you're going to say or I want to hurt your feelings. You Again, I already talked about it earlier, so I'm not going to go deep down the rabbit hole on that one. But, yeah, if you, you have to get these issues together. Um, while you're not upset with each other. That way you guys can express these things to one another in the best way possible. Number four, distractions can kill the relationship. Absolutely true. Distractions could be anything. Distractions could be this thing right here. Distractions could be the TV is always on. Distractions could be you're at home with family, but you're trying to work. Distractions could be anything. Um, just as I'll just put myself out here as far as distractions go, I usually record my videos when my family is either not here or when they're taking a nap. In this instance, they're both sleeping. So this YouTube could be a distraction in my relationship if I allow it to. But I don't allow it. That's that's just really that's the real of it. I don't allow this to become a distraction. I like spreading my message with you guys but i definitely do it when i'm not distracted or when i'm being a distraction it could be anything the distraction could be anything distraction could be your friends distraction could be your family always taking you away from your loved one for their benefit for whatever reason so distractions could absolutely kill the relationship as well and I'm saying a lot more about the distractions because most of us don't think about the things that I just mentioned as a distraction. Like this phone. It's just like I'm on my phone. Yeah, but you're not present with me. Just think about it. Distraction. So the fifth one, I have a quote. And you just have to understand that relationships do not have to be a struggle. They don't. So the quote is, according to Tina Tassina, a.k.a. Dr. Romance. <laughs> Relationships are not really difficult if you if you understand how to create a partnership. Yes, it does take some time and attention to keep a relationship on even keel, but usually it's selfishness that makes relationships difficult. Oh, she hit that one on the head. I'm going to repeat that. It's usually selfishness, i.e. that ego, that makes relationships difficult because and and seriously that's refreshing to hear if you focus on seeing things from your partner's side as well as yours so both of you side both of you guys sides you have to think about their what they're saying and yourself so if you think about if i'm sorry if you focus on seeing things from your partner's side as well as yours Everything will get a lot easier. You will also see that your partner is not necessarily trying to hurt your feelings. They're just trying to express themselves. But because you're all in your emotions, all in what was me, all in, you know, why did you say X, Y, and Z? You're not listening any longer because you're taking things, everything that your partner say to you or most things, you're taking everything personally. And it's not necessarily personally. But they're, whatever they're trying to share with you. Um, there are lots of secrets to a lasting relationship, uh, Tessina says. These include, which not a, not surprising, communication, relaxing together, speaking up, and sharing your gratitude towards your partner. You guys have to be partners with one another. This is the most powerful thing you can do to keep your relationship strong which is to form that partnership to be a team based on mutual respect, caring, and helpfulness. But, but again, you have to communicate those things to your partner. They are not mind readers, especially in the very beginning. But if you let the relationship go on too long, then you start to get frustrated. But you're not really understanding that you are helping out with your own frustration. Yes, you are are helping out with your own frustration because you never communicate these things 
in most cases to your partner for them to be able to help you for them to be able to relax with you for them to be able to seriously be with you because a lot of times we're so used to doing our own thing that when this other person comes into our life we have to now navigate and try to figure out how to fit them into our world not necessarily noticing or even realizing that you are the reason why your relationship is not going as smoothly as it can go. You're not willing to take a step back and see things from your partner's side because you always want to be right about certain things or about everything. You have not given your partner the opportunity to express how they're feeling to you and you have not given yourself the opportunity to hear what they're saying so you can see his side so you can see her side it's all about you you're not realizing that you are the cause of your relationship being so difficult or so hard so just take a step back realize what's going on you may be the cause of why your relationship is so difficult you may not be um, opening up as much as you should be right you may not see your relationship as a partnership as of yet you may not see it as a team thing going on yet so you still living in the I I I or me 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 world versus the we 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 world and you don't understand why your relationship is so difficult because that ego has gotten in the way that selfishness has gotten in your way but you can't see it. So just take a step back and move on. Two more. Oh, I said it. <laughs> ego. Yes. Ego and selfishness to me go hand in hand. So I'm not going to dwell on ego, but just know that that is one of the actual tips is ego. All right. And the last one that I'm going to speak about is this is actually not in the article. This one is my own is simply saying two words, I'm sorry, or three words, I am sorry. Most of us don't say that. We let the egoness, we let the ego get in the way. We let the selfishness get in the way. There is no partnership. You're still living in an I world versus a we world. It's a we world when you're in a relationship. It is. And when you guys get married, you're supposed to become one. Yeah, you're supposed to become one. But you know it's a we world because you guys are working together. You guys do have a good partnership. All of us could do better in our relationships. All of us could do better in getting rid of the ego. All of us could do better listening to what your partner is saying and literally putting yourself in your partner's shoes so you can see it from their point of view. This was a very interesting article, I must say. Like I said, I did not talk about all 10 tips. I have the full article down in the description box below. If you are a reader like me and just want to know all of this stuff, I will have that down below. So go ahead and check out that article. Of course, give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. What can you add to the conversation? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you have any questions for me? I would love to answer them. And if you have a story, something that you want to share, something that you want me to answer, definitely go ahead and use my email address that I have down in the description box below and send me your story. And I will answer it publicly and privately, meaning I will probably send you the information before you see the actual recording of it on YouTube. So instead of having you wait for your answer, I will answer you privately and then for the world to get an understanding of what actually was said, I will showcase it on YouTube at a later date. Definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I will absolutely appreciate that. And 
this is just a place where you can get all of your tips and tools so you too can have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship so we can increase the marriage rate while decreasing the divorce rate. I will see you again in my next video. Deuces.